Just before this video begins, I'd like to thank you all so much for subscribing to the channel as we have actually passed 40,000 subscribers on the Tech Rock channel here, dude. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're going to be covering some of the like, CES announcements, I guess, from Razer. I do this every now and again, like when Razer release some kind of new products and stuff that I think are pretty cool. Uh, I'll cover them on the channel. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to cover like a bit of NVIDIA news as well, as they have just released the RTX 2060, dude. And I might just possibly be reviewing it on the channel. So uh, more on that to come in, I guess, the next couple of weeks or so. But uh, Razer have released, I guess, two new products in CES this year. The first product being uh, the uh, Razer Blade 15, featuring uh, a NVIDIA uh, RTX graphics card. So the base model Razer Blade 15 will still use the GTX card. However, the advanced model will now use uh, the new NVIDIA GeForce RTX, the Max-Q edition. So for the Razer Blade 15-inch advanced model, you could get yourself an RTX 2060 card, uh, or you could go with an RTX 2070 Max-Q, or even an RTX 2080 Max-Q. No 2080 Ti though, but still. Uh, pretty crazy how they can pack in uh, such a powerful graphics card in such a slim laptop. Now, this is kind of the laptop that I really want, but God damn it, Razer blades are really expensive, so maybe like sometime down the line, like hopefully this year I'll be able to buy myself one of these laptops as a, or maybe even Razer, you know, can hook me up with a laptop. Razer, if you're watching this, please send me a Razer blade and your new monitor, which we'll talk about in a minute. But uh, this laptop is honestly so sick, dude. Look at them bezels. They pretty much don't exist. It's got like RGB in there and stuff. You can choose from two displays, a 1920 by 1080p display running at 144 hertz, or you could go with a 4K touch display, dude. Wow. And uh, yeah, genuinely lovely laptop. They're really expensive, but uh, I really, really want one. Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of monitors here. Are these the Razer monitors? No, they're not. They're not the Razer monitors. But anyway, I'm not sure if any of you have heard yet. Uh, I tweeted about it on Twitter, uh, but Razer Raptor 27 inch. Razer's first ever gaming monitor. Wow. And uh, the bezels are so thin like they they practically don't exist now i don't know if they're just trying to do like a bit of like you know marketing trickery here because you know other companies have done this before where they kind of like make it seem like the bezel is really really slim but then when you buy it it's actually like not that slim it's actually pretty thick so uh, i don't know if razor's trying to pull some marketing trickery here but uh, if the bezels are indeed this thin, like these monitors will be absolutely perfect, I guess, for like a multi-monitor setup because there's freaking no bezel, dude. Like, holy crap. And to top it all off, the monitors, of course, have a Razer Chroma built in. You know, why wouldn't they? So the entire like bottom part of the stand is is just covered in RGB and it will just like rainbow cycle through colors and stuff. It's freaking crazy. But uh, Razer did advertise this monitor to have a one millisecond response time. I read this somewhere, uh, at least on like the mobile page, it said one MS response time, but pretty sure they're lying about, there you go, see, a 27 inch IPS, 1440p display, pretty good stuff here, uh, one millisecond response time. Uh, I don't know if they measured it differently here, but uh, at the bottom, of this page, if you press on see more, you will see that the actual gray to gray response time is four milliseconds right here. So it's not one millisecond gray to gray, it's four milliseconds gray to gray. But it's an IPS panel running at 1440p, 144 hertz. So this is probably gonna be a pretty pricey monitor. Is there actual pricing about it yet? Uh, I mean, it's just been unveiled, I guess. I'm pretty sure you can't buy it or anything. But if you type in all your details here, uh, Razer will notify you when the monitor is available, I guess, like in your country and stuff. But damn, uh, genuinely, very impressive monitor. The bezels, honestly, they blow my mind. They don't exist. The bezels on this monitor don't exist. There's only like a bottom bezel that's really slim in itself. Like it just says Razer. But the actual like stand of the monitor, I feel like it's something people are gonna either like love or hate. Now uh, I'm kind of like in between. I like the fact that you know it's like RGB and stuff. Uh, you know that's cool. But the actual stand I feel like is just way too big, right? Like surely they could have like slimmed it down as you like it went up or something. But. Uh, Clearly they haven't done that, uh, so the stand's like pretty big, uh, so keep that in mind. But in all seriousness, they've done a fantastic job with this monitor here, like it's freaking crazy, dude. Uh, so it does actually come with like AMD FreeSync as well. G-Sync will be coming to FreeSync monitors. 
Uh, Nvidia brings G-Sync support to FreeSync monitors, so apparently that's going to be a thing pretty soon. A driver update will soon turn on G-Sync support for other variable refresh rate monitors. So uh, that's some pretty exciting news as well. So even though I have like this ultra wide BenQ monitor here, um, if I have like another Nvidia graphics card that I want to use, I can still, uh, you know, use FreeSync on a Nvidia graphics card in the future. So. That's gonna be awesome, dude. No more having to pay for like crazy expensive G-Sync displays, I guess, which is always cool. But getting back to the monitor here, also does support a HDR400, a 10-bit dimming processor, apparently. So 95% uh, of the uh, DCI P3 wide color gamut, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio. I'm just pretty much reading off uh, all the tech specs here. But uh, the actual monitor itself is pretty sick. It has like some uh, pretty interesting designs, I guess, for the back of the monitor. Uh, there's like a Razer logo up there and then apparently like a CNC like cutout and stuff for all the cables and stuff. So an interesting way to cable manage all the cables coming out of the back of your monitor, but you know, I guess that works. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I really, really do want to get my hands on one of these and maybe like, you know, three of them in fact and just make like the ultimate like triple monitor setup with these like, damn. Like imagine playing like Euro Truck Simulator on all three of these displays because there's practically no bezel. Pretty nice, man. That would be pretty nice. But uh, apart from all that, everyone, uh, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I guess I just kind of wanted to cover a bit of the news uh, from Razer in CES uh, 2019 here. So uh, yeah, apart from that, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to go check out the stuff I featured today, I guess the links will be down below in the description. Not that you can buy the monitor or anything, but you can maybe possibly buy the new Blade 15 or you can just sign up to get notified when it's available, I guess. So maybe you can't quite buy the Razer Blade 15 just yet. But uh, when it becomes available, you can buy it if you want to. And uh, I really want to, but uh, it's too expensive. So I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to hold off for now. So apart from that, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this video. And hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.